most livable small cities in the entire United States are in Michigan. According to who? Well, that's according to one study. And you're about to find out exactly where they are and how I feel about each and every one of them. If you're new here and new to me, my name is Paul and I make videos like this one to help people like you make better decisions when moving to, from, or around the state of Michigan. So if you like that sort of thing, consider subscribing to the channel and watching some more videos. And if you'd like to make a move in the next three days or three years, reach out because I'm a full-time real estate agent and I can absolutely help you. My information is in this video below, like below the video, you know, like clicky clicky. All right, so to see which small cities were the most livable, smartasset.com did a whole bunch of stuff. They did some computer magic. They looked at data from 275 small cities in the United States. They compared things like dining, entertainment, healthcare, employment, poverty, and average commute times. How long does it take to get to work? Everybody's working from home now, so it doesn't even matter. And I'm never going back. Or maybe you went back to work. Never, ever, 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 ever. And five, five of the top 20 small cities in the United States were in Michigan. Or are in Michigan. That's like 25%. Hey, calculator, hold on. Yep, it's 25%. So what is a small city? It's sort of between a big city and a small town. Small city. You just call them smitties. Just call them smitties from now, that's my word. Cool, man. You're cool. All right, so coming in at number 14 out of 20 on their list is Rochester Hills, Michigan. The housing cost as a percent of the household income is 17.36%. There's only 6.4% of the population below the poverty level, and the unemployment rate is only 1.6%. Now, Rochester Hills, Michigan is one that I don't cover a lot on this channel, but I really need to because I help a lot of people move there and move from there. It's one of those cities where a lot of times people will come to me looking at places like Novi and Northville, and then they discover Rochester, Rochester Hills, and they're like, that's gonna be my zone. It's a little bit less, so it's a little cheaper than the Novi Northville area, and it's like just as nice, I love it. So let me know, like let me know what you think in the comments about Rochester, Rochester Hills. This is Rochester Hills specifically. Coming in at number 12 on their list, Livonia, Michigan. I talk a lot about Livonia, Michigan on this channel. I actually just recently made a video about why people are leaving the city of Livonia. You can check it out here when you're done with this video. Now, Livonia is a city that I like a lot. It's great for like first time home buyers. A lot of first time home buyers love it uh, because of the location, but it is, I mean, it's a great small city, Smitty. Cool, bro. Housing costs as a percent of the income is 15.46. Residents below poverty level, 4.4%. And the unemployment rate is 2.4%. A little higher than the last one. Coming in at number 10 on their list, Troy, Michigan. Now that is another one. Troy is another city that I talk about a lot on this channel. It's not a really big city, so it's not something like Grand Rapids or Detroit or Lansing but it is a smitty. It's a small city. Okay, we get it. Doesn't really have like a walkable vibe. That's like one of my big complaints. I've made some other content about Troy. You can check it out when you're done with this. Housing costs as a percent of the income is 17.05. Residents below the poverty level, 7.1%. And you've got an unemployment rate of 1.6%. So, I don't know, I like Troy a lot, but there's not a ton to do in Troy. So that's always like sort of my complaint. I like places with like a small downtown to get down. You know it if you've watched this channel. We all watch. Coming in at number eight on their list is Farmington Hills, Michigan. I actually made the move uh, from the Livonia area to Farmington Hills, Michigan, so I love it. I love the location, I love the size of the city. It's kind of close to everything. Yeah, you know, I drive around a lot, I'm like all over the place. So it is one of my favorite places around. So the housing cost as a percentage of income is 16.6%. Residents below the poverty level, 7.8% and the unemployment rate is 1.6%. It's just all around like a good town. Like, not town, it's a city, it's a smitty. Man, Paul, gotta remember this stuff. A lot of people end up moving from like the Livonia area to Farmington Hills. I, I call it Livonia Plus. It's like, you know, it's just bigger. It's like got all the things. And it's actually on this list in the same way. Kind of like Livonia Plus. Coming in at number three on their list, and so it's number one in our list, 
is Novi, Michigan. Oh man, Novi. I, you know, I talk a lot about Novi. So you've got Novi with Novi schools, you've got Novi with Northville schools. Uh, taxes are a little high here, so you have to like make sure you really pay attention to that. There's a lot of big houses, a lot of big lots. There's not really a real downtown. There's kind of like a fake downtown in Novi. But again, it's like a, it's a smitty. It's not a small town. It's not a big city. It's just a smitty. <sighs> keep saying that. The housing cost as a percentage of income is 16.66%. Residents below poverty level, 6.2%. And the unemployment rate is 1.6%. So it's an all around great place. Location's great too. I mean, these are all spots where it's really easy to get anywhere from. So you can, you can move there and you can sort of get anywhere fairly quickly. You can get to the airport quickly, you can get to Canada quickly, you can get downtown quickly. So that's one of the reasons that all of these places are extremely popular because they're not big cities. They are smitties. Would you please stop saying that? So what do you think about this list? Do you agree with Smart Asset and me? If so, let me know. If not, let me know. Let me know how you feel about all of these cities. And if you're still looking for a place to live, check out some of these other videos and playlists here, and I'll see you there.